Let's change the number 5.5 to a fraction. So here's how we could do that. Let's call it 5.5 over 1. 5.5 divided by 1, it's still 5.5, but now we have the start of a fraction. Let's get this to be a whole number. If I have one decimal place here, what I can do is I can multiply by 10, and that'll give me a whole number. So 10 times 5.5, that ends up giving me 55. That's a whole number. But I can't just multiply the numerator by 10. I also have to multiply the denominator by 10. That's because 10 divided by 10 is 1. So we're multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 10 times 1 gives me 10. And now I have a fraction, 55 over 10. But I can simplify this. So let's give ourselves some room to do that. And 5 goes into 55 11 times, and 5 goes into 10 2 times. So we end up with 11 over 2 as a fraction for the number 5.5. We could convert this to a mixed fraction because 2 goes into 11, 2 times 5 is 10 with 1 left over, so we could also call it 5 and 1 half. So either way, when you change 5.5 to a fraction, you could have 11 seconds or 5 and 1 half. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.